This other white oak is adjacent to the one that I just did a video about that had what might have been armillaria at the base, but I also found Ganoderma at the base of that. Um, that one had quite evident uh, white rot. And this one is clearly suffering from a brown rot and a white rot. So brown rot because what's left over is brown and it's blocky, comes off in blocks because there's different types of wood cells that are broken down first, leaving the others. White rot, Let's see if I can. This one has white rot in the upper canopy as well. This is what white rot looks like. It's gonna be a lot stringier and the tissue that's left over is white. Ah, this tree is quite a ways gone. So as soon as you start to see tip tie back in your trees or any sort of decay at the base, you need to call an arborist immediately to save that tree. These trees are probably between a hundred and a, I don't know, I have to do the circumference between, I'd say between a hundred and 140 years old. Uh, you can't replace a tree that size. I mean, how are you going to replace a tree like that in, in your lifetime? And all the all the great things it gives you, it's really hard. And it'll cost ten times the amount to take it down as it would to save it. So saving a tree is always less expensive, increases your property values. So just keep an eye on your trees. Some of these fungi can kill them fast, but they can also be treated.